such a beautiful day. Her I have rich here, and uh, today, hopefully, if we catch some nice fish, is gonna be the first 2018 fishing video. Hope you guys are pumped, I'm pumped, and uh, today we're fishing this lake here in like my local town that has probably the biggest potential for uh, you know the best bass fishing in my like local area probably you know the next state record might come out of this lake you never know but uh, I've only bank fished here I've never ice fished here until yesterday and oh, the ice is cracking and yeah, we're good though it's it's four to six inches or that's what it was yesterday and uh, we did well yesterday I only fished for like two hours today I got a little bit more time to fish and uh, we're gonna try and knock off some nice largemouth here or you know pickerel or bluegill we're not gonna be too picky but we're really after those bass this is kind of the area where I was fishing yesterday and uh, you can see I got a bunch of my holes here and I kind of just chiseled right along the bank and it drops off to about 20 feet right where I'm standing so that's like really quick that's like it's like straight down and uh, we got like four or five inches right here and it's actually kind of weird because right along the bank over there I don't know if it's because of the mud or whatever it is it's actually open over there which that's kind of sketchy or it's actually open along most of the bank of this lake but uh, right, right out here it's you know five six inches so we're good and uh, I think today because I did so well right here along this weed edge we're gonna try and do the same thing but we're gonna drill or chisel a few more holes that way and then maybe a few more holes that way and uh, we're really gonna cover this area and catch some nice fish All right, so we opened up all the holes basically from yesterday. So I think what we're gonna do is just fish all these holes. And then if uh, we don't catch fish and we'll keep moving down this weed edge, we either go that way or we'll chisel more holes that way. All right, I guess we'll start off at this hot hole where we were catching them pretty good yesterday. And uh, this is my showdown digital fish finder, like really an essential tool when fishing uh, deeper water. If I was fishing shallower water, I would probably use like an underwater camera, something like that. But uh, for deeper water, this is like the kind of unit you want. And I'll, I'll show you how it works in a little bit. Let's first get her down the hole and power her on. Okay, should have 21 feet here. 21 feet and I was amazed that I was catching bass down this deep yesterday but uh, that's where they are this is a very deep lake so a lot of times the fish are gonna be in different areas you know they're gonna be on that that deep drop off for, for, for this lake since it gets so deep 20 feet isn't deep you know, on another lake where the max depth is 20 feet, those bass might be on a drop off where it goes from five to 10 or from two to five or something, you know, it all varies. But, uh, you know, I'm gonna start off fishing with just this little Northland tackle little spoon. And then I'm gonna tip that little spoon with some of these Berkeley Gulp little waxies. And uh, I love this stuff, you know, in the beginning, I thought it wasn't going to be as good as bait, but uh, to be honest, it's it's just as good as bait or, you know, really maybe the fish don't even notice the difference. All right, so it looks like I already got a mark on the screen, maybe a bluegill or it's maybe something bigger, but just off to the side of the cone. Because you think about this, this shoots down a cone. So uh, I'll show you in a little bit like more in detail, but basically anything that, you know, is right below this hole, right below this transducer, will most likely show up as a bigger mark than, you know, my little liner of the little jig I'm using. But, uh, you know, say if you have some fish that's swimming in, you know, swimming in from the side, the line's gonna start off small and then it's gonna gradually get bigger and bigger until that fish is looking like right at my little jig or my little spoon. I'm gonna drop this down to the bottom and uh, kind of just, start to jig it aggressively see if I can attract anything over near the hole okay I haven't seen anything so we're gonna make a move 20 feet right here okay so I made another move got a nice mark on the screen there he is fish on 
Might be a bass. Oh! That wasn't a bass, that was a pickerel. Cut me right off. All right, well I don't have the spoon that I was using, so I'm gonna run back to my car and go get the same exact spoon that I had because I think that's gonna be the good bait to use. Okay, we're back in action. Okay, so the fishing's kind of taking a turn for the worst right now. I thought I was gonna come here and like do really, really well because uh, all these holes that I drilled yesterday, or I chiseled yesterday, you know, produced a lot of fish. I did take a break from fishing and I chiseled out a couple more holes this way and then another hole over there. And then I went about another 40 yards that way and chiseled holes like all in between there and kind of then circled out and circled back and chiseled probably another five or six holes. My arm is <laughs> really killing me, it was a lot of work. But uh, I think we're gonna cover a little bit more water and cover a little bit more depth and I guess we'll give it a shot. We'll just, you know, five minutes in every hole and hopefully we can start marking something decent. Yeah, darn it. Doesn't look like we have anything immediately down there. But we'll drop it down and see what we can find. Oh, good mark on the screen. Just came up off the bottom. Oh, just missed a bite. <laughs> Finally had a second hit of the day. <laughs> Finally. Oh, he's back, he's back, he's back. Good mark, good mark. Oh, he went down. 16 feet here, too. Oh, instant mark. Come on, it's a nice fish, too. Chasing it, chasing it up. This might be a bass or a pickerel. There he is. Got him. Oh, he came off. Man, I can't catch anything today. That was probably a bass or a pickerel, too. Oh, he's back. He's back. There he is. Instant bite. This might be a pickerel. Oh, yeah. Oh, got some weight to it. Oh, nice bass, nice bass. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> That's what we're after right there. Now, that, there was either more than one bass or there were two fish. And I missed the first one and then the second one was uh, following close behind. Come on, buddy. Come on. There he goes. Woo! Finally broke the ice. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, good mark, good mark. A bunch of good marks. Oh, there he is. Okay. Heavy fish. Oh my gosh. Heavy fish. Oh. Heavy fish. Please be a bass. If this is a bass, it's going to be pretty good. Saw one mark, and then, oh gosh. Yeah. Woo! Look at that tank right there. Yeah, man, but I saw one mark and then I had a second one come off the bottom and as soon as that second mark came off off the bottom, this guy just crushed it. All right, we're back in action. I'm gonna drop my little spoon down. Looks like I have a fish on the bottom ready too. And uh, believe it or not, this is actually the same spot where I caught my first bass today. And I actually left and went to a bunch of different holes looking for something. Didn't see anything, so I came back here. And as soon as I dropped that spoon down there, I saw a mark. And if you see that line on the screen that's kind of going up and down, that's basically my jig or my spoon. And then anything that, you know, is similar in size or say if it's a bigger line, like almost like a bigger bar, 
that's going to be a fish if it's coming up towards my jig or if it's moving like right there i have a fish that fish came right up off the bottom and nailed the spoon oh he's pulling hard this might be a pickerel oh my gosh oh no oh that tank of a fish popped off right at the hole but I got, I got a couple more fish down there. If you guys can see on the screen, you can see those marks. And one of the marks is actually going right down to the bottom. That's probably a bass going back down. He probably followed his buddy up. Oh, got a fish coming up. Oh, oh, not what I wanted, not what I wanted. Big pickerel. All right, well, not big, but decent and crazy enough to cut me off. This is what I got cut off on earlier. Okay, Whew, that was a close grab right there. Close grab. Gotta love the uh, waterproof gloves though. My fingers are bone dry. Great, now I'm gonna have to retie. Hope you guys saw that on the screen. This fish hit it really aggressively too. Kind of like that last one I just lost right below the hole. So maybe that last fish I had was this guy right here. All right, buddy. All right, thank you for chewing up my leader. Thank you very much. Just let go. <laughs> oh, look at that. Cut my line right there. There he goes. Whew. Talk about a honey hole though. Getting all of my fish out of here. All right, we're gonna try this hole here. It looks like we have a mark on the screen, but, oh yeah, it is a fish. It was just kind of hanging there. I didn't know if it was a fish, but I just dropped right on top of his head and saw it move. Oh, and he's coming up for it. Come on, hit it, buddy. Be a nice largey. There he is. Got him. Hope you guys saw that action there. And we got another fish on the screen still. Oh my God. Did I lose them? Oh, I lost them, man. Dang it. Got another little mark. Oh. This mark just got a lot bigger. It looks like something good. Come on, hit it. So I'm going to pull my, my jig or my spoon up. That fish is chasing it. He's chasing it. And sometimes they like it that way. What do we got here? Oh, gosh. Oh. Nice bass. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was bigger <laughs> than what he turned out to be. But he came up like sideways and he absolutely choked that little Northland, uh, little forage minnow. This could have well be, uh, this could have been the fish that I lost for all we know. But uh, whew, bass number three, whoo, hell yeah. All right, well, I hope you guys are finding the action with uh, the fish finder pretty cool where you can see the lines and then you can see like where my little jig is. It's a small little black little mark and then you see that bigger black mark and you, you see it moving so you know it's a fish. And uh, the bigger the mark, the bigger the fish or the closer the, the fish is to your presentation. Say if you know you see a small little line that's moving up and down, that could be the fish say like further towards the edge of the cone and then as it gets closer and closer to my little spoon it gets bigger and bigger and uh, in the beginning i thought it was it was a small fish that bass i just caught i mean it wasn't giant i mean but that was still a pretty decent fish it was around like you know probably like a 14 15 inch bass so um you know we're catching them and it looks like we got another mark on the screen so we're gonna drop right back down there he is wow that was a surprise hit right there okay Just looking for one more bass though, that's all we want. One more bass. Oh, 
Oh, we got a fish on the screen already. Oh, he's coming right up. He's coming right up. Come on. Just looking for one more bass. Doing a lot of little subtle jiggles. Oh, there he is. Got him to hit it. This might be a perch. I don't know. Oh, now he's pulling hard. Oh, nice bass. Oh, come here. Got him. Yeah. yeah. Look at that nice fish. Beautiful. These fish are just like in such like healthy looking condition. Looks like they've never been caught before. So, I think we might have to call it at that and end on a high note. What a perfect, chunky winter largemouth.